Hello learners, this is Habiba with Excel with me. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Let's start today's class that is te Central Teacher Eligibility Test Paper 2 Social Science Class 6 Our Pass 1 and CERT. In the previous class, we have understood till 1 to 5 chapters. Today, we are going to touch the 6th chapter that is New Questions and Dates. Who was the founder of Buddhism born about 2500 years ago? That was Siddhartha also known as Gautama. The Buddha belonged to a small Gana known as the Sakya Gana and was a Kshatriya. When Gautama was a young man, why he left the comforts of his home? Because in search of knowledge. To find his own path to realization and meditated for days on end where Buddha attained enlightenment. He attained enlightenment under a people tree at Bodh Gaya in Bihar. After that, he was known as the Buddha or the wise one. Where was Buddha taught for the first time? That was Sarnath near Varanasi where he taught. Now, where did Buddha pass away? At Kusinara. The Buddha taught that life is full of suffering and unhappiness. This is caused because we have cravings and desires which often cannot be fulfilled. Sometimes even if we get what we want, we are not satisfied and want even more or want other things. The Buddha described this as thirst of tanha. The Buddha taught that this constant craving could be removed by following moderation in everything. So, these are very, very important points related to Buddha. We have to remember right, life is full of sufferings and unhappiness and also uh, whatever this is caused unhappiness or uh, cravings because of these cravings and desires which often not fulfilled because of which what happen? We want other things. We are not satisfied. We want even more. So, Buddha described this as the thirst or Tanha. So, the Buddha taught that this constant craving could be removed by following moderation in everything. We have to moderate whatever we are doing. So, what did the Buddha believe that the results of our actions, whether good or bad, affect us both in this life and the next called, in the next life? That was karma. In which language did the Buddha teach the ordinary people so that everybody could understand his message? That was Prakrit. Now, let's understand the story of uh, Kisagautami, a famous story about the Buddha. Once there was a woman named Kisagautami. So, her son, kid passed away, child. So, he went to Buddha uh, and she asked Buddha to make that child alive. Then Buddha said, I can make that child alive. But one thing you have to do, you have to go all around and then you have to find this. The seeds must come from the house of a family where nobody has died. That means Buddha asked for the seeds, mustard seeds or some seeds. Here, those seeds, if you bring to me, then I will make your child alive. The seeds must come. This is very important quotation. We have to remember the deep meaning inside what Buddha wants to teach. That is, the seeds must come from the house of a family where nobody has died. That was impossible. That's the uh, teachings Gautama Buddha has given. Now, the other thinkers also tried to find answers to difficult questions like to know about life after death, to know why sacrifices should be performed. So, both are true. Many of the thinkers felt that there was something permanent in the universe that, that would last even after death. They described this as the Atman or the individual soul and the Brahman or the universal soul. Very, very important point this one is. The other thinkers, what they described here, Atman or the individual soul and the Brahman or the universal soul soul that means something it was permanent in the universe that would last even after the death that was atma we call as atman or the individual soul and the brahman or the universal soul so they believed that ultimately both the atman and the brahman were one 
many of their ideas were recorded in the upanishads here these were part of the later vedic texts these upanishads are the texts were written later vedic texts what is the literal meaning of upanishad very important question approaching and sitting near earlier people uh, used to teach in the gurukula so the students have to come to the guru that means sit near the guru and learn things that was the upanishad approaching and sitting near what do the texts in the upanishads contain they are the conversations between teachers and students often ideas were presented through simple dialogues now who were the upanishad thinkers they were men especially brahmins and rajas now which women thinker was mentioned who was famous for her learning and participated in debates held in royal courts actually women were not allowed in the courts or assemblies but she was the first lady that is gargi she was a learned famous for her learning and participated in debates in royal courts then poor people rarely took part in the discussions one famous exception was satyakama jabala who was named after his mother uh, mother the slave woman jabali so these both the statements are true now who had a deep desire to learn about reality and was accepted as a student by a brahmin teacher named gautama and became one of the best known thinkers of the time that was satyakama jabala now many of the ideas of the upanishads were later developed by which famous thinker that was shankaracharya now let's understand one more story related to buddha the wise beggar a story from one of the most famous upanishads the chand yog upanishad that was a dialogues between the sage and the beggar that was sages were uh, shaunaka and abhipratharin were two sages who worshiped the universal soul so a beggar came and asked then the sages rejected but the beggar asked one question whom do you worship or believe they said universal soul then that person said i am or i also belong to that universal soul only then they understood the deep meaning inside that that means all are equal and worshiped so shaunaka and abhipratin were stunned to hear that from that beggar now six schools of indian philosophy india's intellectual exploration of truth has come to be represented by six, six systems of philosophy these six systems of philosophy are said to have been founded by sages yes both the statements are correct now let's understand the six systems of philosophy given by these sages that is vaisheshika given by uh, konada nyaya that is gotama sankhya kapila yoga patanjali purva mimamsa jaimini vedanta or uttara mimamsa vyasa very important philosophies we have to systems of philosophy we have to remember and the sages also who have given these philosophies now which german born british indologist observed that the six systems of philosophy were developed over many generations with contributions made by individual thinkers that was frederick max muller now panini the grammarian who prepared a grammar for sanskrit he arranged the vowels and the consonants in a special order and then used these to create formula like thousand like those found in algebra he used these to write down the rules of the language in short formula around 3000 of them now who was the last and 24th tirthankara of the jainas also spread his message around 2500 years ago that was vardhamana mahavira now he was a kshatriya prince of the lichavis a group that was part of the vajji sangha now statements at the age of 30 he left home and went to live in a forest for 12 years he led a hard and lonely life at the end of which he attained enlightenment that was vardhamana mahavir now vardhamana mahavira taught a simple doctrine that was men and women who wish to know the truth must leave their homes very important point question come can come from here they must follow very strict 
strictly the rules of ahimsa which means not hurting or killing living beings and then all being said mahavira long to live to all things life is dear now ordinary people could understand the teachings of mahavira and his followers because they used prakrit language now followers of mahavira who were known as jainas had to lead very simple lives begging for food they had to be absolutely honest and were especially asked not to steal also they had to observe celibacy and men had to give up everything including their clothes these are the things mahavira's followers had to follow or obey now jainism was supported mainly by traders farmers who had to kill insects to protect their crops found it more difficult to follow the rules that's why they could not follow jainism so these both the statements are true now over hundreds of years jainism spread to different parts of north india and to gujarat tamil nadu and karnataka now statements the teachings of mahavira and his followers were transmitted orally for several centuries they were written down in the form in which they were they are presently available at a place called vallabhi in gujarat about 1500 years ago both the statements are true now let's understand the similarities between buddha and mahavira whether they are correct or not both the mahavira and the buddha felt that only those who left their homes could gain true knowledge they arranged for them to stay together in the sangha an association of those who left their homes yes both the similarities are correct now what were the rules made for the buddhist sangha written down in a book called that book was called the vinaya pitaka who meditated for most of the time and went to cities and villages to beg for food during fixed hours they were called as bhikshus and bhikshunis male were bhikshus female were bhikshunis the prakrit word for renouncer that is beggar who joined the sangha they were brahmins kshatriyas merchants laborers barbers then courtesans and slaves now many supporters of the monks and nuns felt the need for more permanent shelters and so monasteries were built what were they known as they were known as viharas now let's see the cave here a cave hollowed out in the hills this is a cave in karle present day maharashtra monks and nuns lived and meditated in these shelters what does the word ashrama mean for jainism and buddhism a uh, generally ashrama means the place where the sages used to live but here for Buddh- jainism and buddhism ashrama me- literal meaning is a stage of life now what were the four ashramas recognized here that was first one brahmacharya second grihastha third vanaprastha fourth uh, sanyasa now let's understand the brahmin kshatriya and vaishyas who comes under this here groups men were expected to lead that is brahmins group they come under men were expected to lead simple lives and study the vedas during the early years of their life that was brahmacharya now the next one they they had to marry and live as householders that was grihastha then they had to live in the forest and meditate that was vanaprastha finally they had to give up everything and become sanyasins so these are the uh, four things we have to understand related to ashramas recognized by the jainism and buddhism now the system of ashramas the statements allowed men to spend some part of their lives in meditation generally women were not allowed to study the vedas and they had to follow the ashramas chosen by their husbands yes both the statements are correct now at the end of the chapter elsewhere this is also important thing we have to remember once this question has come zoroaster was an iranian prophet who was an iranian prophet it has it can come as a question that you have to answer zoroaster now let's see his teachings are contained in a book called the avesta this is also important question now the language of the avesta and the practices described in it are very similar to those of the vedas now the basic teachings of zoroaster are contained in the maxim that is good thoughts 
good words and good deeds this quotation also can come who has given this quotation that you have to give the answer zoroaster now here is a verse from the zend avesta that is lord grant strength and the and the rule of truth and good thinking by means of which one shall create peace and tranquility this quotation also you have to remember from where this verse has been taken that was zend avesta so we come to the end of this session if you like the video please do like share subscribe and comment below i'll come with come up with next chapters with more practice questions and i will also conduct later on grand tests in between please do like share subscribe and support me thanks for your attention and time happy learning